we end up giving an explanation for a dream and we think that does it and then we end up dismissing the dream. For instance, someone will dream of being in a circus and they'll think, oh, I saw the circus on TV last Friday night. I'm, I'm sure that's why I dreamed it. And then they forget it. But if they, let's say, look into the details, they realize, well, this was not the same kind of circus. And yeah, what was happening in that circus dream? There was, there was a lion, and it was handing me a message with its paw. And I got afraid and ran away. Now, suddenly you realize, wow, this is not exactly from the day, something left over from the day. If you think about all the things that we could dream of from the day before, it would be thousands and thousands of images and impressions, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you have to ask, why would the dream choose one or two, maybe from your day, to have in the dream? Why would it be so selective? And the truth is, is that most remembered dreams are not from events that happened in our life. They're like made up from elsewhere, right? People we don't even know are talking to us, celebrities coming to make love to us, to intrigue us, right? Um, so it's a lot more than just uh, fragments of the day somehow haphazardly being churned over in the night. Mm -hmm. There's uh, a guiding intelligence that's orchestrating and you might say hand choosing certain things from the day or even years before in, in a mix using that to create a drama. Why? To teach you something. Mm 